Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has recently announced over on their support website that they are now going to be rolling out more frequent Microsoft Defender updates for Windows operating system installation images, which are your ISO image files that you may well know you can download for Windows 10 and Windows 11 from uh, the Microsoft website to perform a clean installation of both operating systems. Now, I actually think this is a good thing and because it goes without saying that within the first hours, and I would even say the first minutes of a newly installed Windows um, using an ISO image, it can leave the system vulnerable because of a Microsoft Defender, what Microsoft is calling a protection gap. And this is because the OS installation images may contain outdated anti-malware software definitions and binaries, which if is the case means the devices on which these installations are made are then inadequately protected until they receive the first anti-malware software update, which can take place after a couple of minutes, even up to um, a couple of hours, um, according to Microsoft. And in that so-called protection gap or window, um, that's where the hackers and attackers can try and gain access to your system. So it basically means your system is open to threat and attack until um, those definition software updates are rolled out um, using um, Windows Update as an example. And over and above uh, the more frequent Defender updates, they're also going to include critical performance fixes that will improve the user experience. So Microsoft, um, I think with this, are moving in the right direction. So it's closing that protection gap and also rolling out uh, performance fixes with the Microsoft, the more frequent Microsoft Defender updates for those ISO image files and basically just making things a lot more stable and secure when you are using one of those image files to install um, Windows 10 and Windows 11, which I think is a good thing. Now, the latest um, Defender package version they have rolled out, if we just head over to Virus and Threat Protection and we head to Protection Updates, the latest Defender package version they've rolled out is actually outdated already but nonetheless it's version 1.411.111.0 and here you can see today in my region i'm already on 1.413.251.0 which um, was last updated um, today on the 12th of june now although um, that latest defender package version um, they have rolled out is a couple of days old it still is better than having it a couple of months old so basically you get the idea they're just closing that protection gap um, with more frequent Defender package um, definitions rolling out um, with those ISO image files, which I think is a good thing. And just wanted to put it out there because I do know a couple of you on the channel um, are using ISO images to obviously install Windows 10 and Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.